Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Joe, where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today, big reveal. Larry's Secret Espresso number 17. This stuff uh, is pretty awesome. I've been drinking it. Um, I'm gonna give a full review and give me, give me, give you my like tasting notes and stuff. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, I'm gonna pull out 19 grams into the porta filter, and then I'm shooting for about somewhere between 40 to about 48 or so, 46 uh, grams into my uh, shot in about 28 seconds. So just to give you the the details and numbers and all that stuff. I'm gonna tar that in, I'm gonna hit play here. My new grinder is very loud, but wonderful. I will say though, I am gonna have an updated video. I'm fully tapped out. I don't know if you see the numbers there. We are all the way to the, the finest setting there. And uh, let me just tap a couple, tap, 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 roos in there. And, um, so I'm gonna show a, a video later on on how to make your grinder go a little finer because I think the sete should have been set up to do that. Anyways, let's uh, pull this shot. Zella is meowing and telling you to subscribe to my channel, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. While I'm pulling the shot though, I wanna let you know that we are giving away Larry's. They were kind enough to give me an extra bag to give to you. So go ahead and uh, to, to enter to win, just go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below and be a subscriber. That's all you gotta do. So anyways, let's uh, pull this shot here and I will start a timer. She is very talkative today. This is pulling pretty nicely. Pretty straight down, which is nice, good signs. It, it does produce a lot of crema, which I like. It also indicates that it's very fresh. This particular bean uh, that I have in here was roasted on the uh, 29th of March. And yeah, so it's pretty fresh. It's only a few weeks old. All right, so let's see how much we got in here. And I nailed it. We were right on 46. So like I was saying, looking for somewhere between uh, you know, like 40, 40, 48, something like that. So this is pretty good. It's hard to be precise right now just because the Gaggia alone is not exactly the most precise machine and I can't fit my, uh, my uh, scale under there. Anyways, let's go through some stuff. I am going to uh, smell the beans. So I'm gonna take a, a few beans out of here and give it a sniff. Yeah, so very nice. Uh, the tasting notes on here are chocolate, or I should say melted chocolate, um, molasses, and walnut. I personally am not really sure how they delineate between melted chocolate and normal chocolate, but you know, I guess you could be the judge of that. Um, yeah, so the, the, the beans themselves smell um, a little bit uh, caramely, actually. I think they, they have a lot of caramel, especially in the bag. So I was, as this, as this is, oh my God, it just smells so good. So it, um, it has a lot of caramel, like right up front, um, and then kind of hangs a little bit chocolatey. Um, and then I'll give it a, a good couple sniffs here in the uh, espresso. It's very sweet, it smells, it smells uh, very sweet and sugary, um, like chocolate, sort of, um, very aromatic. It does have some walnut uh, smells coming off of, uh, coming off the aroma. Time for the first sip. Oh my goodness, it's so good. This is one of my favorite, this has been one of my favorite espressos to taste. Um, it has a lot of sweetness right up front. Like, not super fruity, but it, just a lot of sweetness right right in the right in the front um, on your first, at least on my first sip. 
a little bit of chocolate. I would say uh, more like milk chocolate, not so much dark chocolate. So let me go in for a second sip. Yeah. Yeah, again, chocolate. Um, and it kind of lingers that like, that milk chocolate lingers on your tongue, which is really nice. Uh, it has a nice body. Um, you could really, you know, for me, it depends on how like strong you make the shot, but um, it definitely has a nice uh, viscosity too. Um, I'm gonna go one more time and kind of let it sit on my tongue a little bit longer, get a little air. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. You get a tiny, a tiny hint of fruit. And I've noticed too, if you pull a little bit longer, you kind of reduce that fruitiness if you don't like that, if you want more chocolate notes, uh, and you kind of want to get rid of that. And then the, the less um, grams you pull out, you get a little bit more fruity notes. But this is very, very well balanced. And I'm not, it's not citrusy at all. It's not, um, I know a lot of people don't like that, that like citrus note. So this is not citrusy, even when, even when that fruit does come out a little bit. Um, and I would say it's almost uh, not quite like tropical fruit, but kind of, maybe maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I, I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, this is just so wonderful. It just it's it's like what I would expect espresso to taste like. It's like the quintessential flavors of espresso, at least for me. Um, obviously, everybody has their own thoughts on that, but anyways. Uh, so I'm going to give this a score. First of all, I want to tell you a little bit about the company. I And I always do a green score, so this company is going to be my first, first ever, 10 out of 10 on the green score. They are definitely uh, going out of their way to make sure this is a clean cup of coffee for you and, you know, helps everybody in the process. So it is a B Corp. It's uh, USDA organic. They work directly with farmers. And they also have a, a system where they actually, and it's fair trade, I wanted to mention that too. And then they also have this like solar powered system where, um, you know, their growers and their facilities use solar power and recycled water to, um, to act, or like rainwater to actually like, you know, feed the plants. So I think it's super cool. Um, they, they're definitely going out of the way, their way to make sure you're drinking a clean cup of coffee. Um, so again, 10 out of 10 on the green score. I am going to give this a, um, I'm going to give it a 9.3. This is very, very good. Um, I like it a lot. I think you should definitely give it a shot. Again, if you want to win a bag, just leave a comment in the comment section below, subscribe to my channel. And if you want, maybe hit the thumbs up button. It'll help me out a little bit. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.